Hey, thanks for checking out the Snap Advice vlog. Today I'd like to sort of do a follow up on the last video we posted, which was called The Number One Reason Why Entrepreneurs Struggle with Web Analytics. And in it, I suggest that it's better for your business to take a people centric approach to web metrics. By that I just mean that instead of focusing on these big numbers, it's more meaningful to break them down into small groups of people that have something in common with each other, and we call that cohorts. Um, and to look at these cohorts um, because that's really the only way you can track behavior, to see which customers, which groups of people that have something in common uh, are uh, making a purchase or filling out a registration form signing up for an email, um, et cetera. And, and it's really the, the best way to stay goal-oriented and to really understand your customers. It's a human-centric approach to web analytics. And I think uh, one of the things that have influenced me to approach metrics in this way um, is a book that I read a couple of years ago. Um, and it's something that I refer back to pretty regularly, mostly just because it's a fun read. Um, and it's a book that I would highly recommend. Okay, here's the book. It's called Dataclism by Christian Rudder. Now, Christian Rudder was one of the co-founders of OKCupid.com which for years was one of the most popular dating websites. And for years he had been blogging about the trends that he was seeing in the data. Now you can imagine that they had, because they had millions of users, they had so much data. They had amassed all this data about, uh, from users putting in their bios, uh, talking about their interests, uh, inputting who they would wanna meet. Um, but then there was also the behavior, behavioral data of, of who they interacted with um, versus, and it's interesting to see the contrast between what people say they want and then who they actually end up interacting with. Um, so there's a lot of fascinating insights into uh, what happened there with their customers. But the point of this book and the reason why it's relevant here today for us is that, um, look at right here, actually it says on the cover, Love, sex, race, and identity. What our online lives tell us about our offline selves. And not it doesn't just look at the data trends, but it actually tries to dive in deeper to paint a picture of uh, the humans and the stories behind some of this data. And it actually tries to, I think, um, caution us against dehumanizing humans um, as we all get lumped into these buckets of data. So there are two types of people that need to read this book, in my opinion. One, if you know that you need to be data-driven and that you know that spending time in the analytics will help your business, that you can refine and optimize your business activities based on what the data shows you, but you are not a data person. If that's you, then you need to read this book because I think the stories in it will inspire you. First of all, you know, there's, there are funny anecdotes, there are uh, interesting things that he's seen um, in the data that they've analyzed, and uh, great examples, uh, not just from OkCupid, but from other dating websites and from other um, uh, websites out there. So um, I think it might inspire you to uh, first want to be more data driven and actually give a damn about web metrics, but also to, again, remind you to be human-centric in your approach um, and to kind of have that kind of framework where you are thinking about customers and thinking about real people and not just lost in these numbers. Number two, if you, uh, like me, have led large teams and have employees and team members that you wanted to be more data driven, you know, staffers that you are, that you've asked to spend time in the data, digging through the data to um, gain actionable insights, to um, uh, bring to the table, but uh, your team members just aren't data driven as, as much as you'd like them to be, this might inspire them. So I would suggest that you buy uh, your team members a copy of this book and you might be surprised to see that they become more passionate about the data. Um, so it's a fun read. I'd highly recommend it to you. And that's the video for today. Take a human-centric approach to data and uh, let me know in the comments if you read this book or if you do check it out in the future. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. All right, thanks for watching.